Now, you will have noticed, of course, that since the election since Saturday, the entire news cycle really has been dominated by one question, what will Winston do? But as yet, nobody's actually been able to answer that, of course, even asking it when Winston's around is problematic. So we thought we'd change the question. If we were Bill English or Jacinda Ardern, what would we do to sweeten the deal? How would we go about wooing Winston? So Zach Fleming went to find out. And in the absence of an interview with Mr Peters, we thought we'd use some of his responses from yesterday's extraordinary media conference. Take it away, Zach. What's Winston want? Why would you ask a question like that? Less immigration, more benefits for pensioners. I know you'd like to know the answer, but why on earth would you ask a question like that? Does he hate Stephen Joyce and Bill English? It's not true. It's utterly false. Is he going to go with National or Labour? Well, anything's possible. Let's be honest, nobody really knows. I don't want to get in an argument with you here. But here at the media, we don't just wildly speculate based on little to no factual information. I expect the media to catch up. There are some things that we do know. So here's how to woo Winston. These are a few of my favourite things. I've got a bit of a difficult request. I need to buy a present for a man who's going to decide the fate of our country for the next three years. Oh, he'll have to be well dressed, won't he? Come with me. Classic double breasts, big peak lapel, a nice subtle check on that as well. Crisp white shirt on him, can't go wrong with that. Would you match the tie in the handkerchief or the tie in the pocket square? Do we go red or blue? Uh, what's the next question? We could make a suit from scratch room. I'm sure he'd love a, a bold pinstripe. Yeah, a bold pinstripe for a bold man. This is not news of the world, right? Try and step it up here. Could spend anywhere between five and ten thousand dollars if yeah. you like. <laughs> You should be, frankly, ashamed of yourselves. These are a few of my favourite things. I need a whiskey for a man who might be about to decide the fate slash run our country. Ooh, we're talking Winston Peters. We are. What you want, baby, I got it. Winston kind of enjoys a little bit of everything. Do you know I got it? 1975, hard bag. So nearly as old as Winston. I can't see the sense of holding a press conference. You're going to ask questions like that? Oh, we're not quite. Well, is that the oldest whiskey we've got in the shop? No, we'd have to go down this way for something like that. Got a, a 1940 Macallan. So that actually is older than Winston. Well, you're not getting a free hit here, mate. I'll set you back, uh, wow, a, a, a new car, about 35 grand. Hell, if I'm Winston Peters at that stage, that's where my vote's going. <laughs> And we all know Mr. Peters loves a good catch in Parliament. He loves to bait fresh MPs. That's not part and parcel of this discussion. But he also loves more traditional fishing. I want it all. Well, I've heard he loves fishing. You guys Labour supporters in here? <laughs> no. <laughs> With the greatest respect, uh, are you serious? This pro product here in particular would give any party that wanted to uh, woo him <laughs> the edge. Well, I expect some intelligence here. 400 bucks, yeah. um, all up. And if you really want to woo Winston, we have it on good authority. His favourite meal is fresh fish and a plate full of greens. Oh, well, yeah, it gets worse. Delicate and flaky, that's definitely not Winston. Well, I'm not going to discuss that. But here we have the biggest fish in the shop. This is what we need. And obviously, home delivery. Fresh fish and a plate full of greens. All right. Thank you very much. 